Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Travis. We have Winter over here. <laughs> Say hi, Winter. Hi. What are you eating? Some crackers? <laughs> crackers. You, got, you are a little cracker head. Hello guys, it is I. As you guys can see, I took down my hair. So this is what I'm rocking for the next couple days until I get my hair done. But honestly, it's kind of freeing, so I like it. Actually, I do. It's I my like it. Actual hair. I like it. It looks good. <laughs> it's no braids. It's no it looks wigs. Good. It's no any of that. It's just me. <laughs> so Take we, it or leave it, basically. <laughs> we actually made some renovations to our back patio. We're excited about because we love chilling out here now. It's been so fun. And tell them all about it, sexy. What do we got going on? So um, I know that last time we talked to you guys about like what we should do about our backyard. And we said, should we get like a pool? Should we get a hot tub? Like what should we do to make this feel like something, even though it's kind of small, the patio, like our patio. And overwhelmingly, you guys said a hot tub. So guess what we did? We got a hot tub, woo! So if you guys haven't seen our back patio previously, I think uh, we can drop a clip in here, let you guys kind of see yeah. what it used to look like. And this is what it looks like now. We got the hot tub that we wanted and needed. This is our inflatable hot tub from our friends at Relax Time. It has been truly amazing. Now the shipping was fast and easy and it didn't take long to set up at all. And as you guys know, this hot tub self inflates, which is exactly what we were wanting in a hot tub. We wanted to be able to move it around if that's what we chose to do, so this was really perfect. It took about five to 10 minutes for this hot tub to self inflate, which was super fast, and we filled it up using a water hose with about 910 liters of water. Now we did have to wait for it to heat up, but that's common, and that only took about 10 hours, which wasn't bad at all. Now one of the many things we love about this hot tub is its integrated motor design. This hot tub boasts an internal engine, maximizing space efficiency without compromising performance. All right guys, so we got the temperature set at 104 degrees, super easy to do. Heater on, heater off, you just turn it on. You wanna set your temperature, you basically just set temperature right there and you can go up or down, whatever you want, right? Okay, and then, and then once it's not blinking, that lets you know so boom. All right, so to turn the filter on, you just press this button, and you got your filter on, and then of course the best parts, the bubbles. Turn the bubbles on and just relax. Now look at the cushions on this thing. It's honestly amazing. It's got enhanced comfort with thick plush seating cushions for unparalleled comfort and support. And you can get in this thing and your stress just literally melts away. And we like to get in and relax, have a few drinks, hang out, watch TV, and talk. Now one of the best parts is the price. It's priced around the $400 mark, which means it offers the perfect blend of luxury and affordability. It is complete with a host of accessories, including a foot pad and a cup holder to enrich your relaxation experience. All right guys, so we absolutely love our Relax Time inflatable hot tub, and we know you guys will enjoy one too. So click on the link down in the description below and use our discount code TravisandTory05 to get 5% Oh. All right guys, so don't delay. Get yourself an amazing inflatable hot tub by Relax Time today. All right guys, so we got out of there and we are feeling very relaxed and ready to start our day. Breeze is sleeping. Um, winter is up and she's having some fun out here in the backyard as well. But yeah, I mean, this has been a great experience. We love that we changed our backyard for the better. Now I literally come out here every day. Travis and I just had date night last night, which was nice. I got rid of, there used to be like a table right here and I was like, you know what? I kind of want to like run. It needs to be right open. Here. Yeah, it needs to be open because it's like, we don't really have the width that we need. Yeah, it needs to be open. And so I which just really helped it out. Getting, <laughs> this is not real. And I did that for a reason is because honestly, not gonna lie, I mean, I don't know how to take care of plants, right? I just don't. And I don't want to be like, oh, let me learn. And so I was like, you know what? I'd rather just buy, an artif you know, buy artificial plants. That way we know it's Ooh. always going to be green all year long. But anyway, and then we got this little plant over here that sits by the door. And of course we got this where we can put the drinks at. Um, this this thing is actually pretty cool too because you can take this off and lift yeah, it up. Yeah, it's not lifting up. I don't know why it's not. It's not lifting up? No, I have no idea. 
what I was horrible. I tried yeah. to show you guys something that doesn't even work. Yeah, so I gotta fix it. But actually, so inside inside of that that little thing right there, that little end stand, yeah. it's it's a cooler. You can actually put like yeah. ice in there and stuff like that. It's mm -hmm. not popping up, so I think maybe one of the girls closed it because oh, yeah. you're supposed to lift it up and it has a thing that holds it up. I think that's yeah. like stuck, so I, I gotta figure that out. Um, oh yeah, and your boy put that up, so I'm yeah. I'm gonna yes. take I'm gonna take pride in that. I did that, didn't I? Huh, pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, look, she's trying to show you what she did with the cups. Oh, let me see. <laughs> You did that with the cups? That's so Good cool. Good job. Good job, Winter. So yeah, so I put the TV up and um, oh yeah, and also the rug. I, lo I love the idea of the rug that you did here. Yeah, so I basically uh, combined two rugs together. So this is two rugs combined. And because um, I was kind of sick of like how dirty the ground would get with the spots and stuff. So I said, you know, let's just put a rug here that we can clean. It'll be a lot easier to clean an outdoor rug. And then of course we got our amazing relax time inflatable hot tub which wow. we really love and Oops. plants or whatever Fresh, yeah. uh, flowers or whatever behind behind here uh just to kind of make it look a little bit more um serene i think is the word i can't i'm not i'm probably not saying it correctly but anyway and then travis put this little screen here um we may switch that out because it just blows right now yeah so, so we, we need something a little bit more sturdy I guess. yeah well we need something a little bit more sturdy and some probably a little more privacy but really it's ultimately to protect the sun because the sun will start setting on the west side so we um it's really just to kind of protect the sun you know in the afternoon or whatever but the morning time sun is great afternoon time we don't really like it yeah. so right here as you guys can see our deck is actually kind of small yeah. um so um what what i plan on doing is i plan on taking this railing down and then uh oh good job pretty girl but anyways so right here coming off this patio right here we're actually going to build a deck so we're going to take this down i'm going to build a deck that goes out about six feet and actually opens this whole space up and then um we feel like that's going to give us more room yeah. it'll still be kind of covered by the trees i i'll put the um i'll put the grill out there all that kind of stuff but i'm going to do it right we're going to get some nice decking yeah. um so it's going to really open up this patio a lot more so yeah. um you know we'll pass some chairs over there all that kind of stuff so that's kind of that's kind of what we're gonna do we're gonna put our bob to build our hats on exactly so yeah so, so when i was younger i used to build decks with my dad uh and so i told travis i was like we're not gonna pay anybody to do it no we can we're do it we're gonna do it yeah we can do it it's, it's basically gonna, gonna it. come off of there yeah. and it's gonna be level with that with the whole uh part that we have right now the separation will be the bricks which i think kind of adds a cool vibe from like you know the concrete to like the the uh the decking top or whatever yeah. so it'll be smooth it'll be cool but yeah so we got a lot of stuff that we want to do and we just wanted to update you guys on it because i know that we talked to you a lot about our new projects and you know travis and i we love to take do these we projects. love taking on new projects by ourselves one thing i got to do also though is and they haven't done is i got to put a fan up there Oh, you gotta put a, like a ceiling fan? Yeah, I wanna put a ceiling fan just to kind of, oh, honestly, okay. not really, you know, it's obviously for like maybe to keep cool a little bit, but also a big, huge ceiling fan. Yeah. Whenever there's um, like wind like that, it'll keep the, the flies away. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, because flies, yeah, yeah cause flies it, because if it has like a big air circulation, flies can't really like fly into it, you know what I mean? Oh. So ceiling fans actually help keep flies away. Okay. That's so I'm, I'm doing that for you. For me to keep the flies away, yes, because as you guys know, I hate flies. Yes, yeah, you don't like flies. How much? Wait, how much do I hate? What, what's the, what's the one thing I hate in life? Flies. <laughs> why do I? Why do, why do I hate flies so much? You have a phobia. I don't know. Let's you see if you get the right answer. Why do I hate them? Oh, because so much? Cause you're afraid they're gonna fly in your mouth. <laughs> That's exactly right. I'm afraid that they're gonna fly in my mouth. And you know what, Travis? Guess what? I will tell you a little story about me. Do you know this? This is story time. This is story time. Has okay. it actually happened? Yes, it's happened before. So. Anyway, guys, so when I was younger, a fly actually did go into my mouth, which is why I always tell Travis about this. I'm like, I'm not freaking out for no reason. Everything that I freak out about at 30, how old am I? Two or 33? Do you know how old I am? You're 36. Dang, I'm 33 for real? I swear I didn't know that. Okay, everything no, I freak you, out. You knew it, your brain. No, I'm not 33 brain, yet, babe. I'm 33 in September. Oh, yeah, in September. That's yes. Right. You're trying well, to, it's like a month look away. at this guy. He's trying to age me. It's like a month away. I'm 33, okay? I'm at 32. <laughs> See, I knew. I was like, okay, whatever. So I'm 32. But everything I, I tell Travis, everything I freak about out about at 32 is because of experience, right? I've accidentally swallowed bugs. Bugs have flown into my mouth. I've gotten stung a bunch of times. Um, bit by a spider. There's so much that's happened to me. And so when I- But that's common I, though. That happens to everybody. Then why are you not afraid of, of flies? <laughs> A fly really, I mean, flies do bite, yes, but only like horse have flies. You, have you, like, have you like ever swallowed a fly? 
I'm sure I have, yes. Do you I, sure you have? Or I'm you... sure I have. Do I remember it vividly? No, but I'm sure I have. It's, it's probably happened, yes. It's not very fun. So anyway, that's my story, guys. When I was younger, a fly went into my mouth and I crunched it. So anyway, that's why. When, so, winter's acting crazy. Hi, Winter. Can you tell TNT family hi? Hi. What do you want to tell them? What's your favorite thing to do at school? Play cars. You like play to play cars? cars at school? What about learning comes? Can you uh, do me a favor and sing um, ABCs? Ready and go. A B C D E G H I J K M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. No, 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 A B C D. That's the one one two single me. Good job. That was so good. good. <laughs> oh, you want to show them that you can dance too? Show, show them your dance. Show them your, uh, show them your gummy bear dance. Well, but, but more importantly, show them how your dress spins. Oh you yeah, spin I want to see your spinning, spin your dress. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so beautiful. <laughs> that's so beautiful. You know what I'm looking forward to when she gets older? I've, I've been thinking about this for a long time. I'm looking forward to you guys doing your daddy-daughter dance. So, yeah, I know. I can't wait for that too. It's, it's, <laughs> it's going to be so cute. Like... I'm gonna be like such a mess when that happens because like she's such anyways um she loves Elsa guys so she's looking for like Elsa stuff so if you guys have any tips on cool Elsa dresses any kind of like whatever you think she would like she's really into Frozen I don't even know why because we've never even showed her Frozen she's never well she could have watched that movie at school though yeah so she, she's really into Frozen so if you got any Frozen um cool like I guess links to dresses or yeah whatever uh, or even toys or any kind of cool, I guess, frozen objects, yeah. toys. I don't even know what it'd be. Drop it down below, guys. Let us know because she's really into Elsa. Hey, you want an Elsa dress? She likes Elsa. I thought you bought her Elsa dress. No, I haven't yet because I don't know which one to get. How old are you? Three. You're three? three. And who, who is your sister? What's her name? What's your sister's name? Breezy. Where's, and, Bre where's Breezy right now? Where's Breezy? Breezy's sleeping. She's sleeping. <laughs> and what's daddy's name? Uh, Travis. Oh, you're gonna make some watermelon? Well, I bought this like, I don't even know, I bought this probably like a week ago, and I don't know how long it stays oh, good. Oh my goodness. So wow, I'm, I'm gonna that's see so if good. it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's <laughs> What's it called? That's a watermelon. That's a watermelon. Guys, she's in this phase where she's saying, oh my god, like a million times a day. And everything that like catches her off guard or something that surprises her, she says, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are you saying that? Is somebody at school saying that? Yeah. Who says that at school? Oh my god. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> that was her. Okay, you know what? We're going to hope that this is good. It did sit over there for about a week. I don't know how long watermelons last, but I, I imagine they last longer than a week. I would imagine too, because you got to think, they grow and it's like... I would okay, let me look. All right, so I'm gonna read it to you so you can hear. It says, an uncut watermelon can last a few weeks at room temperature in the pantry. If stored in a dry place below 75 degrees that's Fahrenheit, that's that's it can last up to 10 days. All right, guys, so guess who woke up just now? Breeze, we got a notification that Breeze is awake, so let's see. What are you doing? What are you doing, Breeze? I heard that you were awake, and look, voila, you are. All right, guys, so I don't know if you guys know this, but she has been saying mama a lot, like a whole lot. She says mama so often that I'm actually tired of hearing it now. Oh. <laughs> she loves watermelon. Okay, I gotta get Breeze something to put on her. I get my hair done on Tuesday. Today is Sunday. And what's that? Get the hair braided. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear? What did you say, baby? I get the hair braided. Braided? Braided? Uh, guys, when are so cute, she puts an S on literally everything she says. So she goes, Mommy, are you getting your hair braided? Yeah. You want me to get my hair braided? You want to get your hair braided? Why don't we have some light in here? Oh, no, I like this light. Okay, winner. So, you like mommy's hair like this or you like it braided? Braided. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you know what? She's spoken. I'm actually not gonna get my hair braided. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm not sure what style I wanna do next, 
But I go through these phases where I'm just like, okay, on to the next one. Like I want something else. So we'll see. What do you think? What's your favorite style of mine? Um, I, honestly, I don't really have a favorite. I like them all. Yeah. And I, I'm not being stupid. I really do. I really don't have necessarily a favorite. I, I think they all, I think they all look good. Oh, yeah. well, thank you. Oh, I know, I know a lot of you guys have um, done your like New Year's resolutions back in January. How's that coming along, guys? How's that? How how is your new? How are your New Year's resolutions coming along? Have y'all been sticking to it? It's it's June, January, February, March, April, May, June. It's five months in. Have you slipped? Let me know. I think I have slipped on mine. I don't know why. What was your new, what's your resolution? Don't tell me eat better because that's no, my New Year's resolution was to lose uh, at least ten pounds. And I have not gotten there yet. Maybe you lost a couple. I've lost a couple, but I've not okay. lost 10. That's good. Yeah. What was you? Did you have a New Year's resolution? What was yours? I didn't have a New Year's resolution. You didn't have no, one? No, I don't do that because I don't, I don't know. I, just don't, do, I, I don't stick to that. I, I, I really just, I don't, I don't need a New, Year, New Year's resolution to kind of do whatever I need to do. So I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of don't, I don't do that. You think it's stupid when people do? No, I don't think it's stupid at all. I think it's great. You know what I mean? Because I, th I think I think it's important to have goals, right? But I think it's important to set your goals. I used to, so I used, to, I used to teach all my sales reps this. So they used to go out, you know, get sales or whatever. So I used to teach them, set your goals low. And that sounds crazy, right? Because everybody says, oh, set your goals high. And you should obviously shoot for high. You should shoot for exceeding your goals. But the problem is, say you're like, hey, I'm going to lose 20 pounds, right? Mm-hmm. In, in a month or in a week or whatever the case may be or hey I'm gonna hit this this quota right if that quota is super high you feel like you failed because you didn't hit it right mm -hmm. but if you if, if you take small steps you're like hey I'm gonna lose you know five pounds this month or two pounds this yeah. month right you hit it that's like hey I hit it like you feel like you actually achieved Mommy. something but whenever you set them super high and you don't and you're really 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 trying to stick to that you fail and then you, it Mommy. sometimes makes you feel like you know what I mean? You're a failure. I guess it's because... You didn't hit your goal. You know what I mean? Like, you're not good enough. A lot of things, right? Well, I guess it's because sometimes I'm so taught to set high expectations that that's what I'm like... That's like in your brain, right? Set high expectations because if you set low expectations, that's all you'll ever get. No, no. You will be happy with the only two pounds off. You will no, be only... Absolutely not because it, it, it also goes with don't be complacent with that, right? So once you hit your goal, set another goal after that. Okay, boom, I got my two pounds. Yeah. Now I'm going forward. It's not saying, hey, be happy with your goal, right? It just means set them achievable. I guess low is the wrong word. Set them okay. achievable. And that way when you do achieve it, yeah. right? It's progress. Boom, yeah, I hit that's it. True. I hit it. Okay, boom, I hit it again. Now look, I'm, I'm achieving all these small little steps mm -hmm. and achievements throughout the year because... I set my goals achievable. Yeah, I get that. That makes so, sense. Yeah. Because a lot of times pe people do so. Oh, I'm gonna make a million dollars, and you should. But once you make a million dollars, right? If, if, that, if that's what you want to do, cool. Okay, I'm gonna make two million dollars. Guys, it's so crazy. I actually I pulled out my old piano, or keyboard, I should say, that I had in storage for so long, and I said, you know what? I need to start playing my keyboard again. As you guys know, I play, and I play guitar, and I play drums. And I said, oh, there's something on there. Oops. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna kind of start playing again like I used to. I know a lot of you guys ask me about music and you know, see if I still play and sing and stuff like that. And the answer is yes.
right, guys. So you can see, I kind of did that on, I, I kind of did that on purpose so you guys can see exactly what I mean. This girl, when she calls my name, she freaking calls it like, like I'm her daughter. <laughs> She's like, Mama, like get in here. And it's just so funny because I told you guys, Breeze is bossy. Breeze, are you bossy? You are Mrs. Bossy, calling me in here that way. Is Breeze bossy? Yeah. See, that's how you're supposed to call my name. Where uh, Bree, Bree just goes, Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> I like the baby bumblebee. My mom's piece for me. I like the baby bumblebee. A queen. No, that's a no, 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 no. Uh, Can you guys be nice, please? Yes, man. Yes, <laughs> What's going on here? Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning into our video. We hope you enjoyed it. Um, super excited about our backyard and everything that we're doing with that. It's just been amazing. Had a great time in the hot tub. So, again, shout out. We're getting to, in tonight, actually. We're getting in again tonight. Yeah. yeah, shout out to Relax Time, guys. Please don't forget to check out that link in the description below. We even give you a coupon code to get 5% off. So, that's really amazing. All right. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we're... we're Jeez, I'm like getting ahead of myself. Always remember wherever you go, there you are. So what? So make the best out of it, guys. So make the best out of it. We love you, and we'll see you guys on the next one. We're gonna have, we're gonna have, I know, I, I was just about to say, we're gonna have Winter, listen, I was gonna say, we're gonna have Winter tell you guys bye, and that's exactly what she said. Bye. Boy, do I know my kids. Okay, bye. say them bye. Bye. Say, see you next time. See you next time. All right. See you next time. <laughs> All right, bye guys.